Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about that smaller yellow fin, that smaller blue fin, that fish in the 25 pound, 20 pound class, even a 30 pound class. You know, traditionally with all the uh, um, technology and innovation, everybody's been fishing a lot with Spectra on their reels and then a short leader. And this works out really good for that, all size of tunas, you know, even up to 50 pounds. But the one thing I've noticed in the last year or two is a lot of guys, they have their drags too tight. And with the short leader, because the Spectra doesn't give at all, the lines are breaking. They put the reel in gear, set the hook, and their fluorocarbon's gonna pop. So what I've learned the last couple of years is just use a reel with straight monofilament. So this has 25 pound monofilament, and I'm using 25 pound fluorocarbon I tie onto it. And that way on that smaller fish, the monofilament's gonna stretch, unlike the Spectre that's like, it has no stretch at all. So when you put the reel in gear, it's more forgiving, it's gonna stretch and it's be easier to um, fight that fish on those smaller sized fish. You can fish it straight Spectre like this if you want, but if you do that, you really have to back off your drag so that the line can come off the reel. But if you're having trouble and your fluorocarbon is breaking a lot, it's usually because you have it too tight, go ahead and try using just straight monofilament and still use a small piece of fluorocarbon about the half the length of your rod and it worked out really good. One thing I've seen too this season a lot is the size of hooks. Traditionally with the sardines, we'd be fishing like a 2030 hook but this year they've been well, using the like a size one, maybe a 1.0 as a larger hook. And some of the trips I've been on, even a size two. Now, one other thing I would rig up for the yellow fin is have a rod ready to go with the jig. So this is a magic metal jig here. And I always have this ready. So if the fish starts to gather into the boat, I can throw the jig and see all the teeth marks on it, caught a lot of fish on it on this trip. I can cast it out or just yo-yo fish it next to the boat. It works out really good. So for the smaller school size fish, this is working out fine. Have a rod ready to go to throw on the schooling fish and the smaller fish. I've been fishing straight with the monofilament and then use uh, the fluorocarbon leader, but I still have a rod rigged up with um, a 65 pound Spectre on here and top shot will be anywhere from 25 pound up to 40 pound, depending on the quality of the fish and a good rod on there. But this works out fine too. Of course, we always bring the much heavier gear just in case there are big blue fin and stuff. We'll have gear like this, even the big yellow fin and everything in between. But I just wanted to cover a little bit. I've seen a lot of guys on the last couple of trips get busted off because they're fishing Spectra with light fluorocarbon and their drags are too tight. So to help get away from that, don't be afraid to just fish the monofilament. Like I said here, go monofilament with a small piece of fluorocarbon and that will help you avoid that problem, help you keep you from getting busted off all the time. All right, I have a bunch more video blogs coming your way. Please uh, support me on Patreon and we have a bunch of different levels of support there where you can help out and help us produce these videos for you. Thanks guys, subscribe right here on my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you later.